Yes, boys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with the My Player series. Today is a huge episode as well. We're getting through the month of April, leading up to the final games of the season. Possibly our last two months with Benfica. We'll have to wait and see, but we're getting straight into it with, the, with this game against FC Vitzella. We should be able to win this. Look, they're low in the table, obviously. We're quite high. Sitting in sixth. Not the most ideal place, but not too bad at, at the end of the day. So we're going to jump straight in, hopefully score some goals, get the three points. Early on here, I've picked up the ball, trying to cause some trouble already, and I'm through, but I've hit the post. What a start that would have been nine minutes into the game to make it 1-0, but we managed to hit the bar, or post even, but we get a second chance here, literally identical to the first, so we stick it into the top corner of the goal, doing our iconic celebration, of course, to make it 1-0 here against Vitzella. Right, I've passed the ball here to Florentino, who's got it into Draxler, who gets it back to me and I get a shot off. Would have been a good goal from us. But we've literally conceded in the 25th minute. I did not expect this. 1-1. We need a big goal to come. One minute after, I pick up the ball straight from the kickoff. I'm bombing it down the line. And I could be in here to make it 2-1. Literally after they have scored. And I do that just fine. Stick it straight where I sticked it in the, for the first goal. It's beautiful. Iconic. It's vintage FJC to score a goal like that. Straight after the kickoff, and we get a corner here before half time. Whipped in to one of our players who sticks it into the back of the net to make it 3 1 right before half time. And we go into half time one, uh, two goals up, even. I was about to say one goal, two goals up, which is great for us. Two goals up at half time, not too shabby, Alonso, is it? I mean, we need the three points, we need a lot of wins if we want to compete for maybe second place. It's going to be a tough one, but we're going to try and get through it. I could be in again here, burning my pace to get past these defenders. And I have scored. I swear my goals are just all identical. It's like a signature move I've got. Get in behind and score from that angle. Stick it in the top corner. And we did actually make it 4-1. I bombed it down the line. Crossed it in to Guedes who heads it in. But the, the uh, clip cut just before... Um, I scored so there's the replay of it to make it 5-1 and I had a chance here to make it 6-1 a lovely piece of skill I managed to get into the box but stick it straight at the keeper what a goal that would have been with that skill move which I don't actually know how I done I was just spamming the buttons because we were at the end of the game but I have picked up a hat trick which you love to see a 5-1 victory dominating performance hopefully no one can stop us towards the end of the season three goals one assist not too shabby is it now we're thrown straight back in with another game against Casapia FC. We need another win in this. Another lower league team. So we need to try and get three points. We get an opportunity there, but we missed. And off the corner, I go for the spectacular. But their keeper manages to save it. I get another chance here outside of the boot. Their keeper is saving everything so far in this game. Once again, another chance, 82nd minute. And I miss. The keeper saves it and we lose 1-0. This is what's unfair about the highlights. I didn't get to defend for some reason, even though it does let you defend. But when they score, it doesn't let you defend it, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah... We lose that game, very frustrating, and we're jumping straight into another game. I told you this episode we were getting through the games in April, and we're doing just that. I tried to square it here to Guedes, but they managed to get it clear. That would have been a good assist from us to set him up. And this is what I hate about highlights. It starts you in an awkward position where Guedes has just ran into the defender to lose the ball. But I can make up for that mistake. 45th minute, can I get on the score sheet? Yes, I can. I stick it into the bottom right corner of the goal to make it 1-0 here. Just before half-time, absolute class. And I get a penalty here. I don't think I've took a penalty all season. So hopefully we can score and chipped it down the middle. Absolutely beautiful. Sent the keeper. And I could be in here. I mean, they could give me these goals all the time. I think this is for my hat-trick as well. It is indeed. And I've scored my hat-trick. Stuck it into the top right to get a second hat-trick of this episode. And I'm doing the gritty on them. I'd be fuming if I was them. But I'd go and pick up another match ball. What an end to the season we're having so far. Hopefully we can keep this form up against Martimo or Maritimo. I'm not sure if you're Portuguese. Comment how I pronounce it. But we're playing some good football here, passing it around near their box. He gets it into Guedes, who plays it to me, and I get the shot off, but they managed to block it. It would have been a good team goal if we managed to convert from that. I've made a run here. If Guedes can find me, that is a cl class ball from him. But we're 3-0 down. I didn't even notice that. But I could be in to score another goal, and I have done so. But I don't think it's going to matter because we're 3-1 down, and obviously it's the highlights. They're rigged. 
Yeah, we lose 3 1. Disappointing result. Especially to a team like Martimo. But I still get a goal on the score sheet once again. We've got a big game now against Boa Vista. We're not playing the highlights for this one because these lot are only four points in front of us. And I start off the game trying to dink the keeper very positively, getting in on goal, getting the shots off early, showing them what we're about. And I'm bombing it down the line here. Maybe I can find someone in the middle. I square it, but they manage to get rid of it. And I've made another run here. These runs, the fences in this Portuguese league can't defend them because I'm in once again. Can I score with my trademark goal? Oh, I've hit the post. I thought that was in. I was about to start celebrating with these camera angles. I can never tell. I've got the ball once again. We're playing some nice passing football. But their keeper manages to save it. And I could be through here on my right foot. What a finish that is from me to stick it into the top right corner. Bloody hell. What a ball from our midfield, whoever that was. I think it was Florentino to play us through, but that was a cracking finish. All right, we go into half time. At 1 0. Had a solid half so far. We need to keep it up. Score more goals. I want another hat trick. I'm thirsty for blood. And what a ball that is from Jao Mario to play us over the top. I've headed it down and managed to get it out of my feet and stick it into the top corner. I don't know how we've converted from there, but what a ball that was from whoever that was. I don't know who played it over. It might have been him. I literally don't know any of the names except Guedes, Neres, and Jao Mario. That's all I can remember. And what a goal that is from David Neres. I've played it into him. See, oh my God, it's Joe Mario. I'm forgetting my own teammates' names. I thought it was Neres. My bad. But what a ball that was from me for him for the finish. And we've played over the top again here. I could be in to score another goal to make it 4-0. And I've fluffed it, put it wide. Now they get a chance, but our keeper manages to save it. And we do get the 3-0 victory there against Boa Vista. A huge win for the uh, end of our season to see where we finish in this league. To end this episode off, we're going to play the highlights against Victoria SC. The club Villa have partnered up with in real life, so maybe if we impress in this game, a Villa scout might be there. We could get a move to the Premier League playing for Villa. And I open the deadlock with a beautiful bit of skill and finesse it into that top left corner to make it 1-0. Doing a different celebration this time. What on earth is going on? We're usually saluting the crowd, but this time no. And we've been put out on the left this game, which honestly, I do not mind playing on the wing. So if a Premier League club wanted me to play on the wing, I would happily do so. Because I'm bombing it past these defenders here. I'm going to try and look for the cutback. It gets blocked, but Guedes is there to stick it into the top right to make it 2-0. We are dominating at the moment. Gonzalo Guedes scoring. And now I've got a penalty. I'm not going down the middle this time. I know where I'm going. Top right. Barsh to make it 3-0, two goals, and I'm counting that as an assist. But we are absolutely on fire at the moment. There we go, back to our celebration, and we do get the three points there. Another three points in the bag. We are on fire at the moment, but that's where we're going to end the episode there because if you look at the fixtures for the next episode, it's going to be the final one of this season, and it's a big one. We've got the final against Porto, last game of the season against Braga. And that episode will be coming out tonight, so make sure to stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.